Today I'm going to be reviewing this bamboo pillowcase, and this is going to be from the Evolve collection. It was actually recently sent to me by the brand. So let me go ahead and open this up, show you the quality of these pillowcases. Also put one here on my pillow just so you can kind of see how well it's going to fit. Now, first thing about these, this specific bamboo pillowcase is these are going to be like a really, really slick material. So that is something you're going to keep in mind if you're not a fan of sleeping on really slick material. Um, this is going to feel almost like a silky, smooth uh, type material here. So that's going to be a really, really nice, smooth silk on that. Let me go ahead and pull this open. It does have this little spot for your pillowcase, so that way you're, or on your pillowcase, so that way your pillow should not slide out. However, this little thing is not going to be incredibly deep, so I'm not sure how well that's actually going to work. Um, let's go ahead and flip this over here, and let's look at some of the stitching on the seams. When I'm going through and do, looking at a pillowcase, I always like to look and see, you know, if there's a bunch of, bunch of issues with it just by looking at this. So I am seeing a good amount of little threads kind of just hanging, hanging around. Um, that's just, just going to be the way that it was made, manufactured on the machine. So I got a few coming out here. Uh, running down here quite a quite a few different strings actually come up, coming apart the end ones are going to be normal just because of the way the stitching works on the machine um, normally you shouldn't have that many loose strings all of the way across so not in all the different pillowcases and sheet sets that i've looked at so uh that i don't know if that would be an issue but just something you'll want to keep in mind with this specific one obviously it is going to be on the inside so not the end of the world um the stitching here on the end does look pretty sturdy i'm not seeing anything like that um, and this is actually, it's just going to be, looks like one solid piece all the way across. So there's not going to be like stitching across here. This is going to be some, like a piece that's folded over and then just stitched down along both of the sides there. So let me go ahead and turn this back over and then I'll put this on a pillow. So it easily does fit. I got the one that fits the king size pillows. But as I said, that little that little flap is actually not doing anything to hold the pillow in place. In place. And what it's actually doing is I kind of just laid this out here. And it's actually kind of flipping out and looking kind of ugly. Just because there's no actual stitching here on this end. It's just kind of loose. And so there's nothing that holds this into place on the back. Or you, there should have been like some sort of stitching here across the front. Because what you're seeing here is this thing is just kind of flipping out. Going loose. So it's actually this little pleat apart. Because it's not deep enough, it's not going to hold the pillow in place. And, place, and because they didn't do any stitching along here it actually just kind of makes the end of the pillowcase look kind of not square truthfully just because of the way they designed that so i'm not a huge fan of that that is a common issue with these a lot of people have tried to do those and if you don't do it right it actually doesn't work and it makes it look worse so definitely something you'll want to consider with those do love the way that it feels though uh feeling across here does feel really really nice and smooth so should work great uh for for your pillows if you do like that silky smooth feel across your pillows then this is going to be a great pillowcase option for you again we've got some loose loose uh, like fiber strings that sort of thing all across it obviously the first wash should get rid of all of those on the inside and on the outside but definitely a smooth pillowcase